High County Safety Agency has completed their annual inspection of the floodgates for the state, and officials say they are holding as strong as ever. Uh, we go through the building, checks all of our equipment, as well as getting our annual training in, just kind of refreshes us on putting it together. A lot of times we do it just every other year or every two years, uh, but we do an annual refresher every year, whether we actually put it up or not. But usually if we've got some new people, some new hires that come in, it's good for them to be able to get out, be able to set it up, see how the setup goes, uh, kind of refresh on time, you know, how long it takes to get set up. Fall is here, but the heat is on at Appalachian Wireless. Get up to half off select devices on a new or renewed line on any Appalachian Advantage plan. Up to half off. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Since the construction of two floodgates in Pikeville six years ago, there have been no problems to test them, but inspections will be completed annually regardless. Yep, everything gets checked uh, wherever we do that training. Uh, we make sure that nothing's damaged or everything everything goes back together the way it should. Uh, if anything's damaged or doesn't go together the way it should, then it would have to be reported and they'd have to make the repairs. City officials took notice of the need for the floodgates in 2018 in the wake of several instances of rising waters around that time. They're set up to create a complete seal on the bottom uh, so nothing can be able to get through the sides of the bottom. Bannon also said the inspections have the added bonus of being a good training exercise for new recruits. Reporting for Fountain Top News, I'm Sheldon Cook.